Can we step in and buy right now, Dan? Is this a good time? You should be buying uh, because I think this is, you know, Walmart clearing out its inventory at lower prices. You're setting up for a strong year end. Are you rally telling me that market. stocks are on sale right now? Is that what you're trying to say? You know, we we started the year with the S and P multiple at around 19. It's now closer to 15 and dropping as company profits are continuing to come in, at or above. We're seeing more, much more good than bad. Certain pockets of weakness within, say, semiconductors and areas like that. But again, we're getting back to more of a normalized market, Dom. We're going to have to pick individual stocks versus going into specific assets. Pockets classes. of weakness sounds pretty mild when you refer to the semiconductor space. That semiconductor yeah. space has been hammered. Yeah. I mean, it, it's been absolutely demolished. Now, to be fair, it was a huge leadership group over the past couple of years. But, but what exactly would you be looking for when you find those, quote unquote, pockets of value? Are, are there specific things for is it a PE is it a earnings growth rate is it what is it that you would be looking for from a bottoms up stock perspective that will get you back in the market well we're looking we, we continue to buy companies that are executing and there's plenty of those companies executing a, across a wide variety of industries there are outliers that aren't doing as well for you know and, and you mentioned since you mentioned semiconductors Texas instrument you know obviously gave a lower guide and lower guidance there, but Intel seems to be doing very well. You know, Xilinx had very strong numbers yesterday and the stock's at an all-time high. So, I mean, you, you do have those, those areas where you do have strength the, uh, in there, but and I think that's symptomatic of every industry. You know, it, you're, you're an investment manager that picks assets, a, asset allocates, takes yeah. stocks. So a lot, of the, a lot of hay has been made with this idea that this year, Active stock pickers and active managers have been underperforming the market. That was in a rising market. Right. In a down market, those active managers, hedge funds, those types are supposed to outperform. Are you right. looking for those active managers, maybe like yourself, to outperform in the coming months and years? I would expect that we would, that we'll have an easier time because the rising tide doesn't lift the bad with the good. You have to look more for the good. And if you have a sound process, like I believe we do, we're able to uncover those companies that are generating strong financial returns, executing well on a, on a business strategy and generate free cash flow and deploy that cash flow effectively. What exactly would you be looking for from a risk perspective? What is it that worries you right now? I mean, obviously the markets that we have in sell-off mode are, are bad. Sure. But what could really change your thesis or your sentiment as an, as an to, investor? To get me negative. Yes. If I saw something of a geopolitical nature, uh, you know, you know, clearly uh, military, uh, you know, some, something that we haven't seen, uh, some sort of military attack. But I really think that we're at a point now where we've, we've priced in all the bad. We've priced in bad news out of China. We've priced in uh, the, the, um, uh, the tariffs and all the, and the uh, ongoing effect of that. But we're gonna, we're gonna see the other side as we get further past the election and hopefully into the new year where I do think it's in both parties' interest to settle gotcha. the trade dispute.